Hey guys, just a quick suggestion. I recommend you go check out these videos. If you haven't already, now would be the time to do that and take note of it because I will be mentioning them later on in this video, specifically for two reasons. The first one is that you should understand how the lifespan works in the world of My Little Pony, and the second reason is that you should understand how colors are combined together. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. We know an alicorn is made up of three different parts, Earth, Unicorn, and Pegasus. But what if I told you how they're really made? Alright, here's the thing. Take a look way back from Season 6, Episode 1, the crystalline part 1. The first time they debut Flurry Heart, according to Princess Celestia's Acknowledge, she states that alicorns are not naturally born for thousands of years. And she's right about that. It's not physically possible for an alicorn to be born. Of course, you will need genes from your parents, but one of those parents have to have genes of an alicorn. One prior example would have to be Princess Cadence. In her backstory, she originally was a Pegasus. However, when she was granted as princess, she got genes of a unicorn, and that's how she became an alicorn. Of course, when you are a unicorn, that means you can do anything with your magic. Why should it take so long just to give birth to an alicorn? Well, as I previously mentioned in one of my older videos from My Little Theories Episode 2, Pony Growth explained, according to Charles Darwin's theory on evolution, he explains how organisms can evolve through a natural state, whether it's the environment or from some feeling. Just remember this is magical beast I'm referring to. It is said that a unicorn means good luck in mythology. But then again, it would not be possible for a horse to give birth to a unicorn. Even the Bible mentions unicorns and pegasus. So whether this is a physical possibility or just an imagination, this proves that alicorns could exist. Let's go way back in time, way before unicorns and pegasus became an alicorn, way before an earth pony even became a unicorn or a pegasus. I'm talking about the stone age. That's right, you guessed it. Sea ponies. If you take a look at your hand, for instance, why do we have these webs in between our fingers? How come we're able to swim unlike any land creature could? How come we're able to breathe underwater for more than five minutes? pointing out that this is how evolution works. This is how every organism in the Milo Pony world connect. This is how they look alike. They're distant relatives, subordinate cousins. Sea ponies became the earth pony. Earth ponies adapted intelligence and became a unicorn, or learned how to fly so they became a pegasus. For a unicorn, on the other hand, they must have took the opportunity to become an alicorn in a way. But who knows how they evolve? It's just how when we look at it, somehow they alter to that state. For an example, their coat, eyes, mane, and tail. How else could it change the way they look? Maybe they don't believe in philosophy of what they cannot see. But, hey, that's just a theory. My little theory. Thanks for watching.